This event marks a, a major milestone in a process that began over three years ago that we call Corporation 2020. And during that period, a truly extraordinary group of people, of about 200, to come together in workshops, electronic dialogue, uh, writing, research, and so forth to explore issues of corporate purpose, corporate form, and generally the future of the corporation. Whether it's supply chains, whether it's capital labor relationships, uh, whether it's corporate governance and the role of investors, whether it's long-termism -term and short-termism, these debates have been going on for a very long time. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, one of our presidents, of course, many of you know, uh, from US or otherwise, and also one of the, basically the author, principal author of the Declaration of Independence, said that in 1814, merchants have no country. The mere spot they stand on does not constitute so strong an attachment as that from which they draw their gains. He later said, getting more excited about the question of corporations, I hope we shall crush in its birth the aristocracy of our moneyed corporations which dare already to challenge our government to a trial of strength and bid defiance to the laws of our country. And in 1872, a gentleman stood where I'm standing now, or perhaps up there, a fellow named Charles Francis Adams, Adams being a great old Boston name, anticipating future debates over the equitable sharing of wealth created by corporations. He said, the lines of division in our community must not become horizontal. But to prevent their becoming so, it is necessary that labor and capital should be partners, that they may not be enemies. Or, that failing, it is necessary that the laborers should own their own capital and not the capitalist labor. And a few years later, uh, another gentleman, again in these halls, Charles William Elliott, uh, speaking on July 4th, which was a tradition in Faneuil Hall, if a new Declaration of Independence were written today, now in the early 20th century, it would deal chiefly with social and industrial rights. A new Declaration of Independence would give vigorous expression to the popular conviction that the natural resources of the country, including the public health, are not to be sacrificed to secure immediate profits to a few individuals or corporations. Uh, today, it's a paradox in some sense. These fundamental questions of corporate purpose, corporate design, corporate futures, they really are the, rarely, sorry, rarely are the subject of public scrutiny. They don't have a place on the agenda, like healthcare, global security, education. We're trying to give it a name here, give it authenticity, give it legitimacy, bring it forward as something that should be the part of our public discourse, part of our duty as citizens to discuss. Thank you very much.